Authority of Kenya on Wednesday held an industry sensitization workshop on decisions of World Radio Communication Conference 2019 with an aim to deliberate on the achievement made and on the way forward. Speaking during the workshop, Cabinet Secretary and Ministry of ICT Innovation and Youth Affairs, Joe Mushero, said the ministry endeavors to consult with public stakeholders on matters that affect them. Looking at the areas that were discussed at the conference, as alluded by the DG, as stakeholders in the ICT sector, we have the responsibility to contribute to this debate and ensure that spectrum and open resources are used equitably, efficiently, and more importantly, in the best interest of all end users. Availability of radio spectrum and orbital slots is an indisputable enabler for the growth. Acting Director General Communications Authority of Kenya, Mrs. Wanjao, says at the authority they are committed and will always continue to manage the scarce frequency spectrum efficiently. The authority is currently working on a 5G licensing and rollout map and already we do have some farms that have ongoing trials. Indeed, this is a call for action for all of us gathered here today. Kenya having a leadership position in this sector, in this industry worldwide, I believe this will be an opportunity for yet another platform. Further, Mrs. Sonjao highlighted some of the implications outcomes if the World Radio Conference 2019 is well implemented. The WRC 19 approved additional spectrum for international mobile telecommunications, the IMT 2020, also known as the 5G mobile. The additional spectrum allocation to mobile services in the frequency bands 24.25 to 27.5 gig, 37 to 43.5 gig, 47.2 to 48.2 gig, and 66 to 71 gigahertz, will facilitate implementation of 5G mobile services in Kenya. Chairman of the Board of Communication Authority of Kenya, Mr. Ngini Gituku, hopes to increase level of participation and contribution of stakeholders in the National Preparatory Committee meetings to countries' positions in the forthcoming World Radio Conference 2023. To increase level of participation and contribution of stakeholders in the National Preparatory Committee meetings to develop countries positions in the forthcoming WRC 23. Chief Administrative Secretary ICT and Broadcasting, Minister of ICT Innovation and Youth Affairs, Ms. Maureen Baka said the government has interest in youth and the youth are now included in the meaningful position and discourse. The President uh, appointed seven young people into the uh, CAS space and I am one of them. So I'm here to let you know that the youth are sitting on the table now. On the other hand, the CS pointed out more opportunities will be seized by the youth. So let us be more creative. Let us look at ways of how can we begin to create these jobs uh, for our young people using all these technologies that, uh, that we're putting in place. So far we're doing well. We have over 638,000 uh, people working uh, in, in this similar fashion, transcribing, translating, doing fashion design, many, many different things that uh, are going on. Uh, I'll give a last example, the national uh, in NFL. The outcome of the World Radio Conference 2019, therefore, provides Kenya with additional spectrum allocations that can be utilized in various services to develop solutions to some of the challenges we currently face and equally enable us to provide better and improved services to Kenyans in areas such as universal access to ICT, food security, education, public security, and climate change, among others. With over 40 radio communication spectrum from transport, security, and other communications, 5G networks will revolutionize how we do things technologically and offer unique opportunities across all economical fields. Reporting for Y254 TV, I'm Dereva Hillary.